Honestly, Delray is my favorite place to, to play. I was mentioned yesterday, it's the first really times that I, I came here and it saw live tennis. Um, I think my brother had his first pro success here, really breaking through, and then for me to you know start breaking through here also, it means a lot, and I just, yeah, I love this place. Chris, so tell me about your adjustments. Yeah. Uh, you had a couple double yeah. faults first yeah. set. Your service went point first uh, winners were way up in the second okay. set. Um, any adjustments? You played yeah, great tennis. The, the toss, the toss, because it's just windy at first. The, the, the wind was blowing the toss everywhere, but I just knew that a lot of other players were struggling with it because I played, you know, that was my fourth match, and I just knew that I was going to make some mistakes, and then you know, just have to keep making adjustments in this wind. So. And uh, this, just like yesterday, you had kind of a close first set, yeah. and then you know dusted it in the yeah. set in the second yeah. set. Uh, just tell me about your confidence when you win the first. It was just the fact that I, I had had a lead and then I lost it, but I still won the set. And I knew that I didn't put pressure on myself just to win like all my opportunities. So then I just relaxed in the second set on one of those opportunities. And then I, uh, yeah, I just kept, I just kept trying to just play each point. Like I was, you know, just on focus on little simple cues that I feel like helped me hit the ball well. How's this feel to reach your first ATP quarterfinal? Oh, uh, amazing. Singles. Yeah, yeah, singles, I guess. So, yeah, it's amazing. I just, uh, I'm excited just because, um, you know, to do it through qualifying. I, I, I was working hard this whole, this whole, uh, you know, quarantine process, and I was in a very fortunate situation that I have courts in my neighborhood where I live that I was able to practice the whole time. So I knew that, um, you know, where other people didn't have a luxury to practice, I was kind of thinking that this might be an advantage for me for the first time in my career where, you know, a long layoff where I'm having to come back and play people in form where now I was like, you know, I'll, I'll get a lucky place to live where I can be informed myself, so. Drop yeah. Part of your strategy um, you know, I was working a lot on my hands, you know, just different styles of, of the game, you know, each day. And then so then now when I got in matches, I felt like I was doing a good job of stepping into the court. So then I, I, I could sense my opponents retreating a little bit. And then whenever I would sense that, I would just, you know, drop shot. It wasn't anything I was planning on. It was just more reactions. And whenever I just saw it and felt it. And how does it feel to be clicking on all cylinders right at the beginning of the season? Amazing, yeah. I, uh, I, I'm just I'm excited, so I'm really not sure where I'm going to go from here, just because this is one of my first couple tournaments back. So I would have to, you know, win a couple more matches to make sure I start getting into the rest of the tournaments these next couple of months until hopefully things calm down. But um, you know, so we'll see. I, I definitely will have a lot of momentum wherever I, I, I play next, though. Thank you.